What's going on, guys? All right, today we're gonna be doing the radiator. As you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but oh yeah, she's smoking. She's steaming. She ready to get changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, place the radiator. I'll start by taking this trim piece, these trim pieces off in the front, all the way around. I'm gonna take this air box off and this cover. And I can back right with y'all in a second. Oh yeah, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of um, repairs with the Durango uh, 2013. It's pretty much the same, the V6. Um, yeah, drop a like. Appreciate the appreciate the comments and the subscriptions. Appreciate it. All right, I got that uh, air box off and the uh, front cover. I'm just taking my trim tool and um, get these clips out. Getting all these little clips out here. Take this air box out, get that out the way, and uh, get these these uh, trim pieces off. All right, I got the air box out. It was just held on by these rubber grommets here, here, and here. Next, I'm gonna start disconnecting everything on the front of the core support, like this bottle here, um, this here. Maybe I'm gonna have to take that off. But I'm gonna disconnect this. I think that's an eight there, eight millimeter. Take the fan out, of course. And this here, and this bolt here. Now I disconnected the fan connector. You just push down on this clip here and pull it out. And it looks like it's just, the fan is just held in with these hooks here. There's a clip down there. Same on this side, and right here. Slide, just slide it up. Oh, you gotta push this in, and then slide it up. Same on this side. Okay, and this 
block it out. All right, guys, I got the fan out. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take this reservoir out, which is two eight millimeter bolts, one here and one here. Looks like I'm already missing one. Uh, take that out. Next, and then I'm gonna disconnect this here, this here, and I'm gonna start taking these tap core support bolts out. All right, guys, it was actually another one down at the bottom, hiding right there. Got to get that one out. All right, guys. So, got them two 13 millimeters out. That was right here. Then the other one is right here. Um, oh, yes, also got the other 10 mil that's right there. And on this side, same spot. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the hoses. I'm gonna disconnect. Where should I disconnect it at? Um, that kind of looked like a tough spot there. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, that ain't that bad. A little water. Now, I could disconnect it right there since it's right there. Cool. And um, let's see if we can wiggle this thing out. Push this thing back. Okay. All right. Yeah, it should come out. Let me go ahead and push this thing back and get this radiator out real quick. Oh man. Yeah, it was kind of a. It was, it was kind of a challenge getting it out, but it wasn't that bad getting it in. Thing was, was this little thing so it sits in there, there like this. You gotta make sure that the condenser is up and out of this part here and here on this side. And I was getting caught up on this thing here. It's getting me caught up here, this little bracket here. But um once I got it past that bracket there. It was it slid in pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her snapped back in and give you an update. All right, I got her back in place. An easy trick to uh, get that bottom bracket in on the condenser is to reach from underneath and, and then squeeze it in like that. Same with that side, same with this side. Just reach underneath and squeeze it and it'll snap in place. And then these ones up here, you just push it in, push that bracket in on this side, inside the condenser, in the condenser and then you're good. Go ahead and pop that on. 
and tighten her down. I'm gonna tighten her to side. I'm gonna tighten her on the side like that. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I didn't um, take this reservoir all the way out. I just um, loosened that bottom bolt and I was able to slide it to the side. But I gotta get this water out of here somehow. Yeah, I might end up having to take it out and get that dang old water out of there. All right. I get you. I'll be back and get you guys over the update. All right. I got that bottom boat down there out. And um, I dumped that water out the uh, reservoir. And, um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and start putting these um, front core support bolts back in. Tighten this 10 millimeter down here. Get this bracket back in here. Get that 10 mil in there. A little push pin here. Um, these 13s inside. And, uh, yeah. Go ahead and start buckling her back up. Turn her down. And go from there. I'll get you guys an update. Alright guys. I got all the core support bolts back in. The one on the inside back in. This one. These two. Gotta tighten that one down. And I gotta get those two 13s in the middle. Right now I'm just sliding this uh this fan in. It's gotta go in between that. It's gotta go in between there. Like that. Let me make sure I'm good on this side. I got the trim all back on. Um, got everything tightened up. I put the air box back in. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna crack this. I'm gonna go ahead and fill her up with uh, Dex Cool. And when I see it coming out of here, I know we're good. I'm gonna close that up, get it to operating temperature. Make sure the thermostat opens and make sure all the air is out. So I went ahead and went with the um, full concentrated bag school. It was a little bit more affordable. I got some distilled water. I'm just gonna mix half and half. All right, that's about half and half. Go ahead and dump this in for right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit more. You can hear that air coming out on the other side over here. That's why I cracked it, that um, thermostat. The bleeder plug, that's why I cracked that, get all the air out. All right, that's my little first batch there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more in there. There's the second batch. A 
more. All right, here's the third batch. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I gotta find my plug. Thing came out. I gotta find it. See, it's coming out over there on that side. Fill it up right there. Ugh. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten her down. And put that air box in and plug that connector up so I can know um, engine codes. Brim her. Fill her to the brim. guys that method I used when I opened up the um the thermostat breather holes the thermostat um breather, bleeder screw and I filled it up and when it was coming out out of, out of here and I closed it back up and I poured the remaining uh cooling in here but that method works uh pretty good I, I drove it around town and I didn't have any issues didn't overheat heat's coming out nice and hot and um yeah that's it not a bad job. Took me about an hour and a half. The most difficult part was just getting it out, getting the radiator out. But other than that, it's pretty good. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Till the next video. See you later.